Breaking news. Denver dies at 72. Heartbroken Jennifer Hudson leads tributes to beloved American Idol vocal coach who helped her launch career along with Kelly Clarkson and Fantasia. Bird was also seen on Canadian Idol, Military Idol, and Majors and Minors. Hudson, Barry Manilow, and Clay Aiken among those to pay memorial. Bird's cause of death was not announced. Deborah Bird, a singer and music professional who was featured as a vocal coach on TV shows such as American Idol and The Voice, died Tuesday in Los Angeles at the age of 72. Bird was also featured on programs including Canadian Idol, Military Idol, and majors and minors in her television career. Bird's cause of death was not announced, according to Deadline. She had worked with a number of top names over generations in the music business, including Jennifer Hudson, Kelly Clarkson, and Fantasia, as well as Bob Dylan and Barry Manilow. Hudson, 42, and Manilow, 80, were among Bird's peers to chime in with condolences on Wednesday as news of her death spread. Heartbroken over the passing of Deborah Bird, the vocal coach on American Idol, Hudson said on Twitter slash X, she encouraged and supported us from the very beginning. I am so grateful for everything she taught us. She will be dearly missed, but her legacy lives on through the music of countless artists she influenced during her lifetime. She wrapped up in writing, Rest in peace, Deborah. Manilow said, This is one of the saddest days of my life. I just can't wrap my mind around the fact that Deborah is no longer with me. He continued, she was one of the most wonderful friends I've ever had. I will miss you forever, my love. American Idol Alan Clay Aiken, 45, praised Bird's skills as a leader of young singers in a statement. I don't think it would be an exaggeration to say that no one was a better mentor, coach, teacher, or champion to us Idol contestants than Bird was, Aiken said, according to the outlet. No one spent more time with us. I'll never forget her drilling into us how we needed to look right into the camera and connect with the audience at home. She was a light in so many lives. I am so lucky that I got to call her a friend. Bird, a native of Cleveland, Ohio, got her start studying at Kent State University and honing her craft at the Karamu and Dobama theaters, according to the outlet. She was a member of Manilow's backup group Lady Flash, who had a top 30 single on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in 1976 with the song Street Singin', which Manilow penned and arranged. Berg had worked as a coach on American Idol for the show's first 10 seasons, according to Deadline, before going on to work on The Voice. She also had been involved twice with the Academy Awards. She was a member of the choir during a performance of Mighty River in 2018 and also worked as a vocal coach four years before. Berg had past worked with Bob Dylan while in Australia in the mid-1980s on the tour Hard to Handle. Bob Dylan in concert and had provided the iconic singer-songwriter with vocal lessons according to the outlet. Berg also worked with Dylan, Stevie Nicks, and the late Tom Petty on the 1986 song Band of the Hand. Berg also showed off her performing chops in a tour of the Broadway production Bring in Da Noise, Bring in Da Funk, as she portrayed the role of the singer. In 2001, Berg received an award nomination for Could It Be Magic from the Black Theatre Alliance. She had worked on Broadway for her work on productions including Harlem Nocturne, the Human Comedy, and Barry Manilow on Broadway. Bird also worked on a number of movie soundtracks for films such as The Lion King One and a Half, The Lion King Ayu, Simma's Pride, and Sister Act Ayu. In 2019, Bird was employed by NBC as a supervisor for vocal production for the network's Super Bowl tribute to Prince, which Spike Lee directed. Bird was also involved with academia as she served at the Musicians Institute in Los Angeles as chair of its vocal department and at Berklee College of Music as an artist-in-residence.